Hey, what's up everybody? It's Andrew with Your Guns. And today I have a pistol here that I've been really looking forward to for a long time. Finally got it. And there's a couple other things that I'm actually waiting in the mail for that go along with this. But for now, I'm gonna show you guys the Arsenal and I'm gonna show you guys what I plan on doing with it. So this is the Arsenal Sam 7K and this is the ASR version. I know it's not maybe explicitly written here, but uh, it is the ASR version. I'll go over exactly what that means now. So let me just get everything out the box. Obviously our, our pistol here. And a few things I found odd on their website. I don't know if any of you guys that might be interested in this rifle saw it. You got a cleaning rod here. Obviously it's our pistol. I'll show you guys all this stuff. Just wanna get it out. But what's kind of odd is that the SBR costs much more. A little oil, oil container there. And let's see what else we got here. This should be our sling right here part of the cleaning kit and of course our manual and this one is specific to the ASR if you guys can see that there so SAM 7K ASR and of course that's the Arsenal suppressor ready version so what's interesting about this pistol here go ahead and show you guys is that this one has the threads in the front unlike the old arsenals it does have some really good improvements so they did put the threads in the front, which is awesome. So this is threaded, I can remove this easily. I got a Picatinny rail in the back, which makes it really easy to put a brace on. Or if I wanna go the SBR route, I could go the SBR route. Of course, here you can see that it actually says ASR. Let me see, where is that? So made in Bulgaria, of course. And on this side, you could actually see that it's ASR right there, clearly. Comes with a little five round magazine, but obviously accepts all the standard capacity magazines comes really well oiled so this is just the little guy it comes with probably good for sighting it in not even sure if you need to i'm probably going to put a red dot on it you can see it has like two apertures on here that you can use let me see yeah so you got that side there here obviously what i'm going to do is i'm going to put probably a red dot on here um I do have some already available, but unfortunately with this rear sight, you need to get a special upper piece. So I'm probably gonna go with the RS Regulate. Uh, probably I got the same bottom part already. And I just need a special one on top that actually goes right behind here. And I believe allows you to co-witness, which is pretty nice. <sighs> Let's see what else. Obviously it's ambidextrous safety. You got a safety here, which is very unique to this particular uh, pistol. And this actually comes off. I'm not sure if anyone keeps that on there, but we could safety check it now, even though it's brand new. Never assume a gun's empty until you check yourself, right? So let's see here. So you guys know about the cleaning stuff there, nothing special. Set this here. This is a sling that it comes with. Probably won't be using the sling but uh, if I wanted to, theoretically, I suppose you can. I believe you put it in the back, do like an MP5 style type of thing. But um, I'm definitely gonna get a brace on it. Uh, at least that's my plan for now. I was considering to SBR it, but I like the fact that legally it's a pistol and probably a little easier for me if I need to conceal it or whatnot. I think most people tend up going the, the brace route. That's what my uh, FFL told me. And speaking of FFL, I gotta give them a huge shout out, Rifle Liberty. If you're in Miami, definitely check them out. $20 transfers, um, that's with the background check and everything. Very simple, excellent customer service. You're gonna love them. So check them out as well. Um, definitely my favorite FFL and the only one actually I use exclusively. So this, um, this one also has grips on the bottom. I do like having like a vertical grip here, but obviously since it's a pistol, I can't. So that's one of my limiting factors. And my bigger brother to this one, my Arsenal Sam 7 SF, which I can show you guys right now if you want. Uh, basically, I modernized that one. And this one, I'm probably gonna keep it a little more uh, classic. Now for the brace I wanna add to it, I have a few options and let me know down in the comments what you all think. But the one I'm considering to go with is this one by CNC Warrior. So this one here by CNC Warrior, you can see here they have the brace, it's 170 bucks and they have it in stock. Now, what's interesting is that if you wanted to go with the actual SBR, 
check out the price on this, $2,429 or $25. And this is from KVAR. Now, if you want just the pistol itself, and mind you, this is not the ASR version, not to be confused, it's only $950. Now, what's different about this version and the ASR, the SAM7 K44 versus the SAM7 K ASR, is that they guarantee the threads to be concentric. So there's no concern of getting a baffle strike or anything like that if you put a specific muzzle device on or if you put a suppressor on it, which I happen to get. So I'm still waiting for it to come out. I'll show you guys some pictures so you guys can see. I'll probably roll it now, but I'm definitely looking forward to getting that suppressor. This is the combination that I got. So it costs $18.99 with both. So what's kind of weird is that like you could get just the suppressor, I mean the SBR version for $2,500. And if you want to save $700, bucks, you could just get the pistol version with the suppressor. So kind of weird pricing there in my opinion. But I think it has to do with 922R compliance because I believe if it's a pistol, it doesn't have to comply with 922R. But if it's a rifle, it does. Don't quote me on that because I'm not a lawyer or a legal expert, but that's my understanding. So maybe it was a little cheaper to bring these in as opposed to just making a pure Bulgarian SBR. So that's my understanding of it. So I know a lot of AK guys are going to cringe at the sight of this, but I wanted to modernize this. I wanted to make it like a modern fighting rifle. This is my uh, SAM 7 SF. So you can see there with my SAM 7 SF, I got a red dot on it. Obviously it has the folding stock. A lot bigger so it doesn't really fit in the frame that I kind of planned for but uh, yeah I have a light on it it's really nice if it gets hot I could just hold on to here I don't have to worry about it getting hot you know not a big deal but since I am getting a suppressor and it's the suppressor combination I'm probably gonna end up changing out this muzzle brake although this muzzle brake is actually really good I really like it but I'm gonna change it out and actually have it here so these are the two muzzle brakes that the suppressor actually came with and it, the suppressor is by Gemtech. The 14 by one millimeter left hand thread and a 24 by 1.5 millimeter right hand thread. So that's what I got here that came with it. So I still got to figure out honestly between the threading. I know this is the right hand threading. I'm not sure what I would use the left hand threading for. And since it is a 30 cal can, I want to see what kind of muzzle devices I could get from Gemtech that could fit on, let's say my AR-15s and other things like that. So that way uh, my suppressor is going to be more versatile. You know, this is my only second suppressor. My only other one is for my 50 BMG Barrett. So that one's not a very versatile. This is actually going to be a more versatile one. So should be worth the wait. So looking forward to that one. So you guys see that there. Let me see what else I can get into on this. So, you know, it's milled. Um, obviously, same arsenal quality. This top cover is actually hinged. So it hinges forward to my understanding. But I'll have to mess with this a little more. To There it is. So hinge top cover, as you guys can see there. So no more like messing around how you have to do with like the other one because it just pops right in. Unlike my Arsenal SAM 7 SF, that could be a little tricky to get on and off. This one kind of just hinges up, which is nice. So one more thing I wanted to show you guys is I did get half a case of these. So let me show you exactly what that is. So these are the subsonic loads from Brown Bear, and they should go really nicely with my suppressor. So I'm really excited to actually take these out to the range and get some good footage for you guys. I do wanna do a full review on this pistol. So I will do that as soon as possible. Sorry for the delay guys in videos lately. You know, I'm still working on getting my doctorate degree and you know, there's a lot of uh, busy school stuff I gotta do. Still working in the hospital full time. So it could be a very busy schedule, but as soon as I get time, I'm gonna hit that range, especially now in the winter time. And it should be pretty nice to go out there. So that's pretty much it. Just want to do a quick introductory unboxing of this beauty that I just got. I'm very happy with it. And I'm going to keep it pretty authentic. I just want to put a red dot on it and I just want to put a brace. So those are like the two things I want to, want to do to it. If you guys have any recommendations for the brace, let me know. I know a good alternative is actually from Palmetto State Armory. They have like the triangle folding brace, but I think the CNC Warrior one does look a little better constructed, but you know, I'm kind of between the two, I'm open-minded. So we'll see exactly what I go with, but that's pretty much it so far. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching, appreciate the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. WRG out.